Hey Algebra 2, today we're going to talk about conditional combinations. Our first example says, in how many ways can at least two cars be sele selected from among four cars? The key word here is at least. So at least means we could have two cars, or three cars, or four cars. So we have to treat this as three separate problems. So as we did combinations before, we put our total possible here, four cars. How many ways can you select two cars? Okay. But also, what if we wanted three cars? Because that's at least two. So f you're going to do four and three. And lastly, how about if you want all four cars out of the four? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, total amount and we're going to add it to here plus add it to there. Okay. So again, since we're doing combinations, we're going to do four factorial over 2 factorial 4 minus 2 is 2 factorial here this becomes 4 factorial over 3 factorial 4 minus 3 is 1 factorial and lastly here we have 4 factorial over 4 factorial 4 minus 4 is 0 factorial okay so here we're going to rewrite 4 times 3 times 2 factorial Again, we're just simplifying this. Okay, here the two factorials cancel out. The two and the four reduce. Two times three, we're left with six here. We're gonna rewrite this four times three factorial. And we did this stuff last section. The uh, three factorials cancel out. You have four over one, which is four. And lastly, uh, zero factorial is equal to one. That cancels out and then anything divided by itself, so 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial is 1. So what we do is we just add these three values up. So we get 6 plus 4 plus 1, which would be 11. So how many ways can at least two cars be selected from among four cars? There's 11 different choices, okay? Again, choosing two, choosing three, or choosing all four. There's 11 different options. The next example says example two. Six boys and three girls are eligible for a five-member team. In how many ways can the team be formed with exactly three boys? So we have six boys, three girls, to make a five-member team. So three out of the six boys will be selected. Now, but that means you have two out of the three girls will be selected. Okay, and we're going to multiply these. And how many ways can the team um, be made? to get a five member team. So three out of the six boys and two out of the three girls will make one team. Notice that's why we added here because these are all three separate. But on this problem we multiplied because these two options make up one team. That's why we multiply. So if I were to set this up, I have six factorial over three factorial. Six minus three is three factorial times 3 factorial over 2 factorial, 3 minus uh, 2 is 1 factorial. Okay, so now since we're multiplying um, fractions here, if you have the same exact term top and bottom, you can cancel those out. So I'm going to get rid of those. So that leaves me with 6 factorial on top. I'm going to rewrite it 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial over, we have 3 factorial here, we have 2 times 1 and then times another 1 because of factorial. So the 3's cancel out, 2 goes into 6 3 times, and now we're just left with 1's on bottom, so we have 3 times 5 is 15, 15 times 4 is 60. So this would be our answer. How many ways can the team be formed with exactly 3 boys? There's 60 ways to get 3 boys and two girls to make a five member team. All right, let's do our last problem here. Yep, last problem. In how many ways can the team be formed with at least, again, key word, at least two girls? Well, if there's two out of the three girls chosen for a five member team, two out of the three, that means three out of the six boys, there must be three out of the six boys to make up the five member team. But it says at least, so there is a chance that you'll choose 
all three of the girls. So three out of three, which means if you have three girls, there's only two more boys that you need to make up the five-member team. So here, whenever you see the word at least, okay, when you see at least, oops, can't write, or you see the word or, you're going to be doing some type of addition uh, with your answers. If you see the word and, so again, there's some addition here. If you see the word and, this means to multiply. Okay? Not every problem is going to have the words at least or 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 and, but if you do see these words, um, this will give you a little um, hint on what to do. Now, so let's go back to this problem. Let's finish this up. I'll get this out of here. Okay. Now, we just did this problem right here. Two out of three girls, three out of the six boys. This is how you would do the work. So we know that this is 60. Okay. We know this side is 60. Again, how do we get 60? We just did the work on this example right here. Three out of the six boys, two out of the three girls. Same thing here. Here, on the other hand, let's go ahead and work this out. We have three factorial. Actually, let me take a break here. Let me let me backtrack a little bit. Whenever you have the same, when you're dealing with combinations, when you have the same number top and bottom, this is going to reduce to one, just like we did on this problem right here. Um, the four factorial over four factorial. Whenever you have the same number, this is going to end up one because these the zero will cancel out and these will reduce. So let's. Save ourselves some time. And remember, some time. And remember that's a one. Now here we have six factorial over two factorial. Six minus two is four. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to do this part right here. So that six times five times four factorial. Two times one times four factorial. These cancel out. The two goes into six three times. So here I have 60 plus 3 times 5 is 15. So again, this makes 60. This makes 15, giving our total answer to be 75. Okay, how many ways can the team be formed with at least two girls? There's 75 different ways because we ha could have two girls and three guys or three girls and two guys. So we have to add up to our answers there. Okay. So good luck with that. These are conditional combinations. Good luck.